listen to that song as we usher. This week on KTN Morning Express Celebrity Chat, we feature up and rising star City Boy, also known as Bawazir. He's a multi talented singer, fashion icon, and businessman from the city of Mombasa. He is known to create all sounds and music, but particularly respected for his contribution to dance hall music. Here in conversation with Brian Aselli. Welcome to the best show in Africa, hashtag Celebrity Chat on hashtag KTN Morning Express. My name is Brian Aselli, and without much ado, I'd like to welcome a personal friend who I have not been able to interview for three years, but this time around, I have found them, and I would like you to actually have a moment with him. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for the one, the only, City Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Aselli, I'm really humbled. Three years, man. I've been trying to get you for three years. Nashukuru mimi mwenye na furai I've met you now alive. Your lights it's humble in yani unajua. So nasikia raha. What's up uko poa? The last time nilijaribu kupata ulikuwa Tanzania. Nikajaribu kupata uko kwa huko Mombasa uko Nairobi. Mimi nikakuja Nairobi nikapata uko Mombasa so it's been back and forth but just talk to us about yourself a little bit more about yourself. Now uh, my name ni Swale Outside. That's my that's my ID name. Uh, my stage name na itwa kama City Boy ama Bawazir aka Bawazir I'm an artist uh, afrobeat dancehall uh, different yani genres ama afro afro fusions in Africa I do and uh, I'm a business uh, pia person fanya business and fanya fashion lakini wewe si wa chemical yetu ni legit yetu ni legit yangu ni legit so yeah, that's all about me. I'm piano and life. I'm learning a lot about life and business. So you love life, business, and you're a musician. Oh, true. Ebu, talk to me about your journey, because uh, maybe this is my debut uh, conversation with you on, on in public. Because me, me kujua kwa mda, but kunam tu pale njia ya kuona, kujui. But they'd like to know, like, your safari me kwa njia. Mbaka you chose music. Because I knew you way before you had dreadlocks. No. <laughs> yeah, I was that. I, I, by the way, I, I want to go back to, to, go back to, to the good boy. You, know. you look good on it. Yeah. Thank you, man. Thank you. Right. <laughs> so, yeah, my journey has not been an easy one, but alhamdulillah, it's been an easy pair. Yani me kwa 50-50, because I kuna journey and bake us off. Kiaje, I'm from. Uh, uh, musical family uh, background i mean ambaye mamangu ni msanii nyenyangu pia ni msanii what we style of music uh mamangu used to sing and write my grandmother back ambaye yuko uganda mam, my mom ni mganda so my grandmother back pia in uganda I used to write songs like in easy za national, national stuff alikuwa yeah, anafanya za government music. yeah so pia hiyo talent ikashuka kwa mama yangu so at least imekuwa a well niniyo kwa sababu mama amenifundisha a lot of things about music since i was 12 since she came back i was 12 so i learned a lot about music na pia alikuwa anapenda fashion na anapenda pia biashara so nime grab grab a lot ambayo it's been a gradual growth pole pole na naipenda kuiona iki grow pole pole so my journey imekuwa na ups and down lakini nimeipenda ikiwa hivyo kwa sababu I learn a lot. Sasa nyingine ukiandika wimbo mama yako anakuambia ah hii ah hii iko nje. Yeah, ambao kitu sijasema ni kwamba ona since 12 mpaka 17 18 my mom alikuwa ananishapen na hiyo. Write a song about patience. Write a song about uh, about uh, the country peace. Write a song about miadarati yani drugs. So hiyo ilikuwa inanishapen sana ku, kuwa na perspective tofauti za music na how na exp express vi differently. So hiyo imenishapen pia ilikuwa ananiimbisha lingala. So I had, I had different taste, different sense. Yeah, so na mi pia alhamdulillah I had the, the new to learn my, my other genres ambazo zimeni growisha kama mimi ambo ni nikaja, nikaja kama dance or artist. So it's been a way of learning and collecting a lot of Knowledge. I think you're one of the most humble people, but how do you stay humble? Because most musicians, especially in our country, are not the easiest people to actually, one, interact with or just regularly talk to. And I'm finding it easy to talk to you, so how do you balance that? Of course, 
jina yako ita grow itakuwa household name uh, maybe even across east africa because that, that's my blessing to you uh, but how 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 do you stay humble knowing that you're gifted and still doing music something that puts you in the limelight no i think i think why is it hard kwa sababu it's all about the personality and your personality ya mtu is eco different so to mine because i was raised uh, with my father a word and that many raised in a way i just had to understand life na najua kwamba music any i you just have to know kwamba your personality has to be there so kusema how to manage it's just me me so i don't know how i don't know lakini kwa wale ambao hawajakuwa in this they have to understand kwamba music is just a business ama it's pia it's a unafauridishe watu so to stay on that low nini it's a good vibration yani you get a lot and you learn a lot and you juzi kumekuwa na exchange ya Eric Omondi na BN wa sauti so Eric Omondi is a comedian BN uh, is a um, musician from sauti so and they've been exchanging about oh industry na Eric Omondi says industry na kufa they're blaming it on the older generation uh una feel aje kuhusu history yote kwa sababu you're you're a musician at the end of the day these people are discussing you in public and I, i believe you've heard what they, they had to say about the same but we na kufanya una feel aje as a musician up and rising star yeah na uh omo eric anafanya kitu nzuri ana try kuwa kuweka on toes artist do lakini nadhani kitu ambao kwa feeling yangu nadhani anaweka in the wrong people labda at this time kwa nini ana pressure wa sauti sol ama ana pressure big nini ambao already wame fight kuweka up you mentioned names at, at least nyashinski amefanya kitu amefanya kitu na aliona aka appreciate lakini wengine wote amekuwa akiwaambia they are down ama ni aje it's not a bad thing kwa sasa hii lakini hiyo pressure ukiwekea wasanii ambao already they have already done that cause anampiganisha omalei na tuseme tuseme na 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 kina na kina sorry kina nyashinski au kina sauti sol i, I think it's a good thing lakini that's a new generation na fat to pay sisi chance tupambane nao so i think sisi huo uwezo tunao ku create melodies ambazo zinaweza hit africa it's only that eric ile energy anaweka kwa south soul is different it just has maybe to turn your energy to the younger generation yeah bao wataendana na hii cause industry hiyo ina change kikipi kichange south soul tunashukuru mali wameiweka na they keep on kuipeleka so nadhani your energy it's a good lakini anafai channel in a different way itakuwa more with, with more artists more connecting yani it's a good thing yeah. though in a bidia channel kwa so really, now na watia changamoto lakini tena i think it shouldn't end in public they should just meet in private as well waone kama sauti so eric omondi if they gather their energy if we can come up with a really robust uh, environment ya kufanya wasanii wa growth ndio Uh, the same thing two years ago in 2019 uh, i was with my friend masauti is my friend and tumetoka mbali so the same nino ilikuwa the same talk about play kenyan music ilikuwa jalango akai channel akai channel hii energy kwa okay this is our talent masauti let's go with na sai masauti ako ako ushelewa so i think eric it's a good nino sai it's a good conversation lakini aki channel in a good way ita promote more more creatives na itafanya industry kuwe more wow itapendeza i think just my my opinion that are you a movies person or what, what do you what do you watch you watch movies or any music videos mostly yeah, just, a music. just a music na mazoezi i love training dancing yeah every yeah, day that's exciting man thank you so much yeah. I, I, so you're not a movies person top 5 wako niambi kenya top 5 twende kazi yeah. Not movies, music, musicians, artists. Number one, Nyashinski. Um rasta na kili, sana. Um rasta na kili. Respect. Uh, number two, I'll say South Soul. They are doing a great job. Uh, number three, I'll channel. Tay channel kwa Otile Brown pia na fanya kazi nzuri. Uh, number four, I'll tay muaga kwa generation, the new generation. Pia though kuna artists wengi sijawataja lakini wasifeel nini it's all about Kenya 
it's all about good music, yeah. it's all about that <laughs> vibration my peleka side. So number four, the new generation, me, Kinoma Saudi, Kina Kinumviri, all the new generation. New generation. So you just mentioned a good number of people like in Anviri, Ben Sol, those guys. Oh, those number five in Takweka, because you ah, told me, you told me. <laughs> That's TBT, I can't be, I can't be top five. Akuti, Akuti. 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 we need, we need, we need such creative. Is a uko, Because I do a lot of theater, musical theater, so. We need, we need such, because we are open-minded, we need that. At least, yeah. So, you only have number five. No. As I just told me, get any food. And I tell it. Na chill na, and I chill na. Big yeah, mind. Yeah. Talk to me about what else do you do? Because you're big, you're an enthusiast in fashion, and what's your take on fashion industry, Pia? Because babu, maybe to na to na nikatu me fika, labda to jafika. Just the other day, we were talking about the that we Kenyans we don't know how to dress for. Uh, galas, like you know, like when you're having a big gala at award show, yeah. we don't know how to dress for that. Don't you? What, what do you think? Kenyans dress well compared to other nations? 